Both chess and Wei Qi can be expanded into game trees, which include all possible moves at each turn. By listing all possible game states and then tracking back from winning positions to the current state, one can determine the optimal path to victory. For example, Tic Tac Toe has around 26,080 possible game states, a complexity that was already manageable with the computing power available decades ago. However, when we shift our focus to more complex board games, the challenge becomes significantly greater. In 1997, IBM's Deep Blue challenged the Russian chess grandmaster Gary Kasparov and ultimately defeated him with a score of two wins, one loss, and three draws. On the other side of the world, in 2016 and 2017, DeepMind's AlphaGo defeated South Korea's Lee Sido and China's Te Jip, two of the strongest professional Wichi players in history. Why did it take nearly 20 years for computers to go from defeating top human chess players to doing the same in Wei Qi? Let's first examine how humans think during a game. When playing a game like chess or Wei Qi, humans typically evaluate several possible moves based on the current board position. They then consider how their opponent might respond followed by how they would react next, and so on. Based on these imagined sequences, players decide which move to make. This process involves two key components. Search, determining where to play, and evaluation, assessing which player holds an advantage after multiple moves. Deep Blue essentially followed this human-like approach. At the time, it could evaluate up to 200 million chess positions per second. Even with such computational speed, considering all possible moves remained extremely difficult. To reduce computation time, Deep Blue employed the alphabet pruning algorithm, which cut off less promising branches of the game tree and focused the search on positions with the higher winning probabilities. This method was also widely applied to Weiqi AI, but with limited success. The reason lies in the vastly greater complexity of Weiqi compared to chess. Chess is played on an 8x8 board, with each side having 16 pieces. The number of possible game states is estimated to be around 10 to the power of 44. In contrast, Weiqi uses 19x19 board allowing for up to 360 stones in total. The number of possible game states in Wei Qi reaches approximately 10 to the power of 170, a number far exceeding the total number of atoms in the observable universe. Thus, simply increasing computational power, even with today's most advanced systems like Air Captain, is not enough to brute force through Weichi's immense complexity. To tackle this problem, AlphaGo introduced a novel approach called Monte Carlo Tree Search. The idea is simple. From the current board position, simulate random games between both players until a win or loss is determined. If a certain branch leads to more wins, it receives a higher weight in future simulations. Through repeated simulations, AlphaGo calculates the winning probability for each possible move, using this as a basis for evaluation. In October 2015, AlphaGo defeated Fanhui 5-0, becoming the first program to beat a professional Wichi player on a full 19x19 board without handicaps. In March 2016, after training through tens of thousands of self-play games, AlphaGo defeated Lee Sido 4-1 in Seoul, South Korea, making the first time a computer had beaten a 9 dan professional Wichi player without handicaps. In December 2016, an upgraded version of AlphaGo under the alias Master 
challenge top professionals from China, Japan, and South Korea online, and win 60 consecutive games without a single loss. In May 2017, the further enhanced AlphaGo defeated Kejie 3-0 in Wuzhen, Zhejiang. By this point, AlphaGo had undergone continuous iterations and used a faster machine learning method, requiring only one tenth of the computational resources used in the Lisido match. Later, AlphaGo evolved into AlphaGo Zero. And eventually, into AlphaGo Zero, abandoned human game records. Instead, it trained solely through self-play, developing a style of play entirely independent of human intuition. The story of AlphaGo mirrors the progress of artificial intelligence and represents a profound moment of self-reflection in human civilization, from Deep Blue to AlphaGo. Technological advancements may one day reveal the ultimate truth of Weiqi. Yet, true wisdom may not lie in exhausting every possibility, but rather in creating meaning and uncertainty. Weiqi complexity was once seen as the pinnacle of human intelligence. AlphaGo's triumph reminds us that machines can surpass human computational ability. But they cannot replace our sense of beauty, cultural heritage, or the reverence for the unknown.